so here we go. So the Liverpool starting lineup, Loris Karius, for now remains the man in goal, although the arrival of Alisson may soon alter that. Nathaniel Klein is at right back after all his injury problems last season. And among the substitutes, Nabi Keita, the new man signed from Leipzig in Germany. And the formidable front end of this side without the likes of Mane, Firmino and co following the World Cup, for obvious reasons, as they rest and prepare. A new man in goal this season for Borussia Dortmund as well, Marvin Hitz adding to the competition with Roman Burki also resting up after the World Cup but Hitz is a frontline goalkeeper in his own right the likes of Goetze and Royce among the substitutes here for Dortmund as we get underway along with Christian Pulisic but a heavy emphasis on youth here by Lucien Favre their new manager Marius Fulf side from Eintracht Frankfurt so even with the last strains of the Anfield anthem, close, close confidence once upon a time. So he hands by Karius. Zagadou, the young Frenchman. Karius has come a long, long way. His clearance isn't the best, and the follow-up shot is going to roll all the way. Well, he's back, and he's all smiles as well. Returned to training a few days ago, and certainly keeping amused. Jimmy Wijnaldum is the joke. Good tempo to the game. Here we see the incident. Clare is straight to him. And he should get it on target from there. You know, it's a good chance very early in the game. Rolana, lovely take. Ball just Franz Beckenbauer. His Zagadou to play it forward towards Philip, who goes to the return ball. Home of the Carolina Panthers, of course. He can play at right back. He can play as a centre-half as well. Got into a good area, nice ball by him that. Happy to concede the corner, Dortmund. Robertson to curl this one in, big chance. And Virgil van Dijk plants the header in the back of the net and nonchalantly hardly celebrates it. Well, zonal marking, but also bad marking as well. If you're going to zonal mark, you have to attack the ball. They took it short, Liverpool. Good delivery into the box. Too many of the Dortmund players are just watch it there. They all start on the edge of the box. Liverpool, the ball's played in. Zagadou has got to do better. So Su Diekman goes in between those two. Really poor defending, but he's a good header of the ball, Van Dijk. Nothing the goalkeeper Hicks can do about that. Oh, I'm afraid that was almost uh, the charity shot, wasn't it? Here we are, have a free header. Why don't you? Eight. Dahoud lays it. Here is Wolf. Slid in, but too near to Karius. So that's half time here in Charlotte, North Carolina. The goal scored by West Brom went down, didn't even get a goal from him. This is what he can do in and around the box. Great feet, it's a decent cross as well. But look at that Moreno, who's lost his place to Robertson. Milner from a distance had a good look about it, certainly did. Just stepping up from that holding midfield role, just opened up his body with that first touch, certainly hit it with power. Trying to bend. Milner. Deep. And how does it go wide? Solanke with a big, big opportunity there, which he is thinking, I'm sure, I should have put away. Well, it's a well-taken corner down this near side. Milner gets himself back on side. He actually does well to get there, out jumping the defender. But he's once he gets there, he's got to get that on target. There's the leap, good leap. Tries to head it back into the right area. Can't get it on target. Liverpool playing at a different tempo now. Sturridge has fed it through. Ojo, is it the underside of the bar? And Klein, who stayed out there. Sturridge looks in the mood, doesn't he? He's never had any problems scoring goals, has he? Daniel Sturridge. There he is. Just picking up the ball in that midfield area. Doesn't quite get a much better pace about this. Hour. Are they going to get the penalty for that? Yes, they are. The poster boy with a chance to score, which he does. Christian Pulisic. 
the perfect script, I think, for the local fans who've turned up in Charlotte, North Carolina. He gets the equaliser from the spot. And he made it as well. That's what he can do, running with the ball. Getting defenders to dive in, change the direction, and it's a good penalty. He knows Karras is going to go one way, and if you're going to go down the middle, you have to lift it high enough to beat the trailing feet, and that's exactly what he did. Here it is, goes past the first challenge, Moreno changes direction. Milner is the player that brings him down. It's not quite so easy for him in the second. Solanke with a lovely ball through. And that really could have been another opportunity for Liverpool to go ahead. That was a sweet ball from Dominic Solanke. And the player in the box. And a natty little flick. Cater with some great work there. And still might be something he wouldn't quite drop for Woods. Joining in his schmelzer. Can Dortmund pinch this here late on? Pulisic might be able to. He has. 2-1 to Dortmund. Christian Pulisic has got them both to the delight of the American fans in Charlotte. Well, just when we were saying that Dortmund have hardly caused Liverpool problems, what a counter-attack it was. Some good football over on that left-hand side. One and two touch. Schmelzer getting forward into open space. Liverpool were pressing the board. The press has been bypassed. Now they've got a, a hat trick here. He's not going to do that, is he? He might, you know. Just about. Say, but they get a third goal. Dortmund striking again. Well, Pulisic once again doing really well. Down this right hand side. Little step over here, goes past the chain. Not a good challenge by the defender, it has to be said. He's onside. 